Okay, so Galatea on Neptune. Capture, as of August, run Necros. Uh, capture target and then spawn kill the drones. Yep. Yeah, I, I should have thought about this. Because, yeah, I, I need a whole boatload of Voxium for a bunch of things. Uh, but I'll just try and get enough. I mean, we got a stupid amount already, and we've got we've got a nice booster. Let's see, which one do I want to be? You know what? We're close to Halloween. Let's go pumpkin frame. So if I check the surprise gift yet. Yeah, I, I checked the surprise gift. I just forgot about it. Okay. So Neptune. Galatea. Yeah, there we are. Well, that's good to know. Equip the pumpkin head. Oh shit, I forgot. Whatever, I'll do it on the I'll do it on the next round. That pumpkin head's terrible uh not terrible, uh temporary, right? I heard from somebody that it's temporary and that makes me really sad. Let's see, does a uh, pilfering hydro work too? Yes, it does. You can do uh you can do both of them. But uh it's I think it's better to have Necros, just because Necros's uh, despoil covers like a huge area. Yeah, let's switch back to the Atomos. I like the Atomos a lot. It's a goofy gun. I gotta get a Riven. Uh, who was it? Utorial was using a Riven for it earlier today, and it looked like it was um, really good. I guess technically the other one would be Ig uh, Ignis is just amazing. But Ignis has always been like a really good gun. Actually, hell, getting a uh, getting a Riven on my Ignis might not be a bad idea someday. I gotta like sit down and figure out what I wanna I, I gotta sit down and figure out what I actually wanna get on my like, Riven Docket, because I think you can only have 15. And I'd like to get 10 of them that I actually want, like, for guns that I really like. And that way we can, uh... That way I can just cycle the remaining 5 until I have maybe 2 left. Because if I if I truly max it out... Oh, you can buy Riven slots, 3 for 30 Platinum. Well then, never mind. I guess I'll just start looking into getting better, uh... uh better Rivens for all my guns. Because currently I've just got a bunch of Rivens for stuff that I don't care about. Like... I guess Acrid might be pretty good, but I've I've never used it enough to really know. My goddamn like weird hand cape thing. I look like a the goddamn kid from Kalanoa, now that I'm thinking about it. Um But uh It's getting in the way of me shooting. Because it's like right there. I bet if I switch it's not gonna work either. Oh, that's okay. Uh, loads of oxium in, in here. You are correct. I guess there's no reason why I should loot these containers. Oh, slash would be the way to go. Yeah, you're right. Where are all the enemies? Did they? Did they just kind of check out? They might have. Where'd you go? Despoil is kind of useless if I don't actually have people to despoil. Yeah, ultimately, I, I know I'm not being wholly efficient here with my... with my necro necros, but... It really doesn't matter that much. Okay, here here's... somebody is. I'm just of the opinion it's better to have a necros than no necros. And I'll do... I'll min-max stuff like Slash later when it matters more. I mean, as far as I can tell, we're getting enough, uh... Oxium from this that we might be able to just get all the... All the Oxium we need in one run. Was I about to say Necrid? No, I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. I'm... I'm... I don't know on a scale of how... Uh, of, like, sick to actually really sick I am. Because I haven't been sick in almost ha uh, half a decade. Uh, apart from, like, a small head cold and a cough. Uh, but I've been really sick this week. And I probably don't sound like it, but I'm like... I'm just kind of... 
out of it and tired and my brain and my mouth aren't cooperating as much as they could be. And it's uh it's making it hard to uh it's it's making it hard to be like truly truly like uh I was gonna say legible, but that doesn't make it ounce of sense. But I gotta work. It's one of the one problems. Uh, it's one of the main problems with being uh, completely self-employed. It's like, oh, you need a day off. Well, that comes straight out of your wallet. It's like, no, no, I don't want that. Ah, uh, sometimes I, I, I like to watch Achievement Hunter, and I will admit, sometimes I get kind of jealous of them, uh, for seemingly having, you know, stable jobs, stable paycheck, stable ability to uh, take a day off. Is that how you spell whole? I am... S <laughs> I am actually sick enough to uh, forget how to spell words. Damn. Alright, whatever. It's okay, I'll just... I'll... Uh, <laughs> yes, it is how you spell whole. I am a 27-year-old man, and I've forgotten how to spell the word whole. This is bad. That's okay. I mean, nice part is, I never go outside and I almost never do anything that'll make me sicker. So, I can more or less just, uh... I can just deal with it for a couple of days and then uh, and then it'll be right as rain I'm just looking forward to being done because shell sick too so we're like trading off who's sicker to, to get the other to do necessary things like take out the trash which I lost handily sucks because I don't want to go take out the trash I don't want to go outside I don't even want to get out of bed in the morning That's okay. Alright, this seems like a really good spot to just hang out, actually. It's... maybe? I don't know, it seems like a lot of guys come through, though. The area is kind of... weakly dense. How much, uh, Oxium do we already have? I, <laughs> I already have enough Oxium! Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, we do have to keep changing rooms. You're probably right about that. Maybe? I don't know, it kind of varies. Generally, I prefer farming the infested if possible, but not always. I just love the Atomos when I'm sick, because it's just like... When I'm sick or I'm tired, I usually just run Ignis or Atomos, where I'm just like... Uh, uh, oh. That was weird. Uh, didn't... Did I drop frames there, or...? Yeah, let's, uh... See if Dox comes back. If Dox gets back, we should probably leave. Uh, weird stuff like that is not good, and I'd hate to lose the. Um, I'd I'd hate to lose our our hard one oxium. That said, uh, this saves me a whole hell of a lot of trouble because that's I mean that's under 800 oxium and almost no time flat. Hard one, I know. It was mad easy. Okay, nope, we do have we do have paradox. Good. So, anecdotal story. Uh, ow. These guys are also starting to hurt real bad. Uh, anecdotal story. Uh, so Paradox used to go by Valkyrie Prime on my YouTube streams and is one of my moderators. And for the longest time I just assumed, uh, Paradox was a, uh, was a lady just because Valkyries are inherently female. That was embarrassing to find out I was, uh, I was very much incorrect when he showed up with the, uh, uh, nice New Zealand accent. Uh, never judge, uh, books by their covers. Always assume everybody's a dude. It's a safer assumption. Uh, I don't make that mistake very often, but some sometimes I get confused, uh, thrown off. I don't know. I mean, realistically, the whole, like, 
I don't know, gender differences on the internet are dumb anyway. I, I saw a video a little while back of, like, people catcalling chicks on, on, uh, Overwatch. And I was just like, why would you even? That's like the dumbest thing ever. Huh, <sighs> pisses me off when people do that. Let's see, what do we want to do? Oh, actually, let's see if I can go make my launcher fragment. Let's see. Uh, arc wing launcher segment. There we go. And, oh yeah, wow, I've got more than enough. Cool. <laughs> so the next thing I need to do is go mining uh, for random shit on the planes and fishing. So I don't need the Odonata Prime. Oh, I could actually make the Kazas at some point. Well. Oh yeah, equip the pumpkin head. Yes, yes, very important. Appearance, attachments, auxiliary. Oh, Mordos binds. I forgot Necros gets that. Well, whatever. Let's look really dumb. Eh, it looks okay. <laughs> we just have this like weird thing sticking out the back of the pumpkin. Uh, let's see. So, what do we want to do next? Because that's uh, that's one ob that's one objective off like almost immediately. So, wonder would I recommend buying Dying Light? Uh, yeah. If you've got a friend to play it with, it's a lot less fun solo, though it's still a very good game. Uh, but generally I would recommend playing with, uh, friends if you can. Yeah, because I always want to do bounties. Though, if I'm going to do bounties, I probably shouldn't be... Necros. Who should it be? I mean, it could be really lazy and just roll... Eh, I don't know if Ember would be good enough for this, though. I'll go really lazy. Let's go... Let's go hella lazy. I actually haven't really used my Frost Prime recently. Oh! Do they have the new helmet? What's the new helmet look like? I've got multiple Harka helmets. Uh... They released a new one today. Oh. Yeah, it looks okay. It's just not worth six bucks to me. Yeah, they had a whole bunch of uh, new Tenogen stuff come out today, which is really cool. Okay, so we want to go to Earth, Cetus, and let's just drop in. <laughs> I like how Cetus 50 is busy, and then there's nothing until 38. Uh, let's go to Cetus 35, that's easy to work with. I to run Neza with bounties thanks to the shield. Actually, oh, you know what? That's That might not be a bad idea. Um, Have I seen the Neza skin dancing thriller? I haven't. But that's actually uh, that's something I should look into. I've been avoiding Neza for ages. You know what? Let's do that now. That's a... This is a good opportunity. I've always wanted uh, to roll Neza because Neza's got the speed upgrade and the invincibility shield. Pseudo invincibility shield. And so I've always wanted to use Neza. So let's go take a look at that new skin. Cause yeah, I don't know, the weird like um the weird like buckle ponytail things just didn't do it for me. And the divine skin was any any better. This looks kinda weird. I don't know what it reminds me of. It looks bizarre. But it looks better. Do we do it? Yeah, sure. Give me a second while I I do silly things. And yeah, I'll just work on uh, getting my Neza to be something worth something. There, it looks awesome once recolored. Yeah, I'll have to take a look. Uh, let's see. Yeah, actually, the uh, the default coloration on it looks kind of nice. Ooh, yeah, it's got that, ooh, it's got that really nice horn. Okay, well, let's see if I can Halloween this up, seeing as we're, ooh, 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 this looks really good with oranges. Positively demonic, honestly. Let's see, do we do a dark red? Do we do more dark oranges? Maybe black. Yeah, yeah, let's get, let's get dark in there. <laughs> oh, of course. They're hanging out in the background. 
Okay. Yeah, I've also got fire if I want to do this. Well, I could do, like, really dark red. Or I could get much brighter. Yeah, this is a solid skin. It's actually got kind of a purple to it, which looks really nice. Let's let's go in search of a good purple. It's not bad. What else do we have under, like, infested? No, that's too blue. Tenno? Cool. No, unfortunately, uh, I don't really have a good... Maybe I'll get Lotus or Twilight someday for better purples. I guess I'll just go back up to Classic Saturated and we'll just go with this. This is the gold, which I tend to keep as. Ooh, 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 that looks really cool. I don't know if I want it for this, uh, but the the blue looks like really good along the edges. But let's let's stick pumpkiny for today. Okay, and what are what do we even have on this guy? Currently, just power. Let's. Switch away from corrosive projection. Let's. I'm just gonna throw on energy siphon. And I just want to take a look at how his abilities roll. What about a green fire? Ooh, that's a. You know what? I'll go check that in a second. So warding halo is damage absorption. So we need power. Power and maybe duration. Okay, you put... Oh, did you put a good uh, build in Discord? Or, no, 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 no. You put a, a really pretty skin there. Okay. Yeah, because I could actually really use a, a good Naza, uh, Naza build. If I can get there. Well, we probably don't need much survivability on Naza if we're doing this. So let's get rid of Vigor. Holy shit, he does not have much HP. Well... Uh, shall I just go pure power and see what happens? That's about as pure power as I can manage. Do we have narrow-minded? That's ah, duration. Power and efficiency. Okay. Let's see, do I have streamline? There it is. It still fits. I should probably form of this sucker. But this is okay. God damn, yeah, he has no survivability. It's almost tempting to get rid of redirection. Duration is garbage. We don't need range at all, but whatever. I could actually switch out redirection for flow, maybe? No, it wouldn't do me any good. Is my clan open? Yeah, it is. Uh, if you go through my videos, you can join the Discord if you're not on the Discord. Um... And that's the easiest and best place to do it. Okay, so last thing. Hi, guys. Let's, uh... uh... Okay, maybe, maybe this green fire. Yeah, yeah, that works. I look, I look properly, uh, Halloween-y now. Let's go do some bounties. And probably die. Switch transient and fortitude slots. Uh, yeah, I probably wasn't paying too much attention. Transient fortitude and... Oh, yeah, duh. Well, I'll put in uh, blind rage there. That does give me eight more for something. Probably nothing. I guess I could switch out redirection for vitality. That gets me, that gets me a little bit more. What do I put in for the last one? Flow. There we go. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Because I think I already have... Yeah, I already have pretty much everything I could I could jam in. And then I might go form of this guy after after one, just to, just to see what we can do. So I got my Aklexes on, yeah? I think so. Uh, hello? So I've already done... Oh, no, it, it just reset, didn't it? Assassinate the commander might be good, but it might also be too hard for us right now. I wouldn't mind doing...
this one, probably? Because we have the chance for Gladiator Resolve, Augur Secrets, or Vigor, plus Lenses. You guys up for that? What are you guys even wielding? I, d I unfortunately do not know uh, how well equipped you guys are. Uh, you look okay. Okay, so so you guys are pretty well equipped. Good. I I've I've made the mistake before of assuming how well equipped people are, and then I then everything goes to shit. Yeah, I really like this skin. I will I will have to start using Naza more often. Unfortunately, uh, my duration's down to twenty two percent. So me using the uh, the speed fire move is uh, not really in the cards. That's okay. Are we all here? I think we are. Yeah, yeah, it's going. Where's a? Uh... I have no idea. Whatever. I'm gonna pretty much have to rely on my X stilettos because I don't even know how to use the Sinoid Simulator. Oh, Naza's shield is affected by power strength and armor mods, if interested. That, I am interested. Okay, I knew it worked with uh, Frost's Globe and Rhino's Iron Skin. I figured it probably wasn't with Naza, though, because... I, I assumed, uh... It wasn't just because Naza's base armor is garbage. But I guess now I know. Huh. Yeah, he, he really is slide frame. But how long does Firewalker last for? Oh, Firewalker is... Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're here after the drone. Damn it. There we go. Anybody? Everybody? Oh, they're dying. Oh, well, I could go Arcwing. It would be it would be nice. And thanks for the uh, thanks for sending that, uh, dropping that for me. But we do actually have to do the bounty here. Wait, Frost Globe is affected by armor mods? Hell yeah! It's amazing. Let's see, can I go fishing? Yeah. Uh, what I'll probably do is go fishing after this bounty. Uh, unfortunately, I've got to switch games in about an hour, uh, which limits me a little bit. Because we've got Divinity Original Sin 2 tonight. But, yeah. Uh, Frost Globe is affected by armor. Which means you can make some really tanky... Uh, you can make some really tanky Frost Bubbles if you know how to do it right. Does mean you're pretty much... Uh, Bupkis when you're out of it. But whatever. Okay. Yeah, dig a Naza. Naza looks cool, too. I just have to figure out how to get the Firewalker move to... Uh, to not just soak up my energy like nobody's business. But yeah, use Warding Halo to avoid hits. Oh yeah, I figured. I probably do a hell of a lot of damage if I bump into somebody, actually. I'll have to try that. Oh, dude, that'd be the funniest duel ever. Two Nazes doing bumper cars. You only get one cast of uh, you only get one cast of warding halo, and you just have to bump it, bumper car each other to death. Are you are you done? Oh, don't tell me. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> oh, it would be awful if this thing actually like lagged out and broke. Yep. Yeah. Huh. There's a dog outside. I almost never hear dogs. That's a weird... that's a weird feeling. Also, the Axolettos are amazing out here. I... I did not realize that the, uh... Well, I guess... I guess I know what my secondary is gonna be for most of these missions. It... Really was not expecting it to be that good. Yeah, I just totally forget about green... green fire as, like, a Halloween thing. I don't know why, I just usually think of Halloween as being, like, an orange orange and black and creepy all over. 
But no, the green is a perfect accompaniment if you've got the right green. She'll just randomly touch my shoulder and is like, Bleh? Yeah, no, I know. I think I'm just dumb today. And everybody should expect that. Wait. Yes. No. Come back. Shit. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Yeah, Maleficent had green fire and it was... It was suitably creepy. I just... I never really watched a whole lot of Sleeping Beauty. We only got as far as her getting to the dwarf's house and then I'd usually get bored. Because then it started doing plot again and stopped being fun. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking of... Um, yeah, Snow White. I've only seen... I actually didn't see Sleeping Beauty until I was 21. So I doubly don't remember Sleeping Beauty. I was babysitting. Though, of course, nobody can hear this conversation with Shell. They just hear me responding to her. But that's okay. For those of you that don't know, Shell is my uh, fiance. She is sick too. We are sick together. Shell should try jump scaring you during a scary game. Uh, so that's the thing. Shell jump scares me during not scary games. When I'm playing a scary game, I am, I'm ready for the. I'm ready for the scary. Uh, it's it's the not scary sh stuff that gets to me. Oh, pff, stuck in a light fixture. Whoops. Yeah, I have a very un... I'd say an unsensitive microphone. It's a very good microphone, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's really tuned in for capturing my voice and my voice alone. So, like, anything nearby generally does not get captured. Which is actually really, really nice. Where's that... There's a dog that just went... What is going on? Oh, no. Oh, we're doing the armored vault thing. I gotcha. I thought we were just killing everybody in the area. What mic do I use? I use an Audio-Technica 2020. Uh, it's a really solid mic. I originally used a, uh, a Blue Yeti for, like, the longest time. But I eventually had to, uh, I had to give it up. Because it was, it was too strong. It could capture, uh, like, farts and stuff. And it was just like, uh, I should probably, uh, I should probably switch this out for something a little bit less strong. Because, I'm going to be honest, you stream for, like, hours on end, you end up, uh, you end up farting at least several times on camera, and boy, do you not want that to, uh, uh, boy, do you not want that to show up in your audio files. Because that's embarrassing. Oh, shit, dying. Well, at least I'm helpful from the ground. Hi, guys. Thanks, guys. I was not paying attention. My warding halo came off. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I'll have to start stacking armor here. At least I've got the, the fish uh, to defend me. Was the fish really first invented in Scrap Mechanic? I don't, I don't actually remember the the perfect origins for, for that meme. I don't remember. Wish I did. Oh well. I'm glad that it's one of the ones that has kind of transcended, uh, transcended all series into just kind of a regular thing. Let's see, you're about to try Warframe yourself. Send a friend, friend request? Yeah, sure. Uh, I've also got a clan full of, like, a bunch of other fans that play this too, so if you want, uh, people to help, uh, I would highly recommend joining that. At this point, I've just given up. I'm going to hit things in melee. Though, I think warding Halo kind of works uh, to supplement, because I'm effectively bumper boat. How much damage am I even doing with warding Halo? I don't know. I don't know, though. That Rhino Stomp is actually rather handy. Maybe I should, um... Oh! We have to, we have to go after a leader? No. Why is this guy marked? Is it just because it's a, uh, a Nox or something? Oh, marked the Nox because he's annoying. Fair point. Just blast his helmet off. It works. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about uh, Neza's Warding Halo is it it comes off. Uh, one thing I really like about Rhino is you can get 
I, uh, Iron Shrapnel, I believe it is, which lets you recast uh, Iron Skin whenever you want, which is incredibly nice. I'm really glad I got a ribbon for this thing. It's a solid weapon. Huge, huge amounts of crit. And fair amount of reach. I want to re-roll the ribbon if we get some Kuva. We'll have to see about that. See, I'm doing... Uh, whoa, that was 120-something thousand. I'm, I'm doing like 10k per crit here. We are... Uh, we are tanky pants. I didn't even really like have to build this for much, just pure crit. But I guess having a, a good Riven really does like make a difference on building certain weapons. I mean, it's why my Soma build works. If it wasn't for that, we'd have not much of anything. Okay, so I am in the wrong location, but I'm also having a lot of fun just murdering these guys. I should probably go help. Yeah, I'll go help. Where are they? They're over here. I'm not too worried about these guys. They're clearly well equipped. I don't know. I just... I remember when I was, like, uh, really first starting out with this series. And there were definitely a couple of times really early on uh, where I got, like, dragged into missions that I absolutely could not do. Um, actually, before I even started YouTubing, I was playing Warframe just a little bit, and I ended up, uh, stopped play- I, I ended up stopping playing, because, uh, one of my friends, uh, brought me to, like, a really high-level mission, uh, to show off, and I more or less got crushed for about ten minutes straight, and I was just like, this is dumb and I never want to play it again. If you recast the second ability while it's in the air, you teleport to where the ring is. Oh, that's cool. That? Yeah, that's... that's pretty cool. I don't think if it works... I don't think it works for, uh, climbing mountains. But I gotta say, like, Neza mobility-wise is pretty, pretty solid out in the plains. Not quite, uh, Zephyr. I picked the hardest place to traverse, didn't I? We're in the final stage of this. I think we... Yeah, we're on the final one. Nice. All right. Uh, you know what? We could actually fit one more bounty on, on in here. We'll do uh, we'll do fishing after. And 1,000 Kuva. Well, I could try re-rolling my... Uh, I could try re-rolling my... My thingamadoo. I might do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll re-roll my, uh, my Zaw. Riven, see what happens. 